What's up, everybody? Today I'm reacting to The Reunion 2. This is a Halo 2 montage featuring Furion, Reed 18, Zetruchio, Titanium, Hable, Doodle Pop, and Untamed. I'm not really a Halo 2 person, so I'm probably not the best person to appreciate all of the small details in this gameplay. I'm mostly going to be concerning myself with the edit. I have high expectations. I'm very excited to watch this, so let's get into it. Bam! Tick, tick, tick. Nice intro. Is that a campaign angle there from Great Journey? Starting off with some fuzzy, pixelated outer space. This is from Campaign for sure. Might even be some custom motion graphics in this. I personally, small detail, I love when Halo Tages start and I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Wow, looking at that African continent. I see what you're doing with Mombasa there. Generally, I dislike when angles are static like that, but man, the effect here is totally overrides that. And I actually really like this. Sticky Jara, all right, back on Beaver. So we look to be, this is just the intro because we're picking up clips midway through. I like that effect with the third through the middle there. Reflection in the visor. I'm not sure if that was in engine or if that was added in post, but either way, I noticed it and it looked great. The reunion too. Dude, this is crazy. Um, I'm really liking the use of sound so far. That's uh, edited by Zents and Trukio. Very nice. I also noticed you used the same font from Halo 2. So nice little touch there. It's the small details that that matter in a montage. What the hell kind of nade stack is this? I was gonna say the sound, um, you've done a great job with the sound, with effects. Wow, that was a really high launch. Nice sync there too, to match with the song. Hey, some cinematics. I appreciate Cine's, um extra hard in Halo 2 because obviously there's no theater mode. Part one, I'm moving apart. So this is Trukio's song, I guess. Nice uh, reverb or, or EQ effect there on the shots. Generally, I dislike when uh, there's this much slow-mo. BXZ there. On Broey! Oh no, rest in peace. Really nice um, psychedelic rainbow there. Or glitch effect. Not sure what, what even to call that. I am going to be seeing a lot of the same names since Halo 2 is a pretty tight-lit community these days. Is that a double shot for the attack? Wow, or the kill frenzy in Halo 2 terms? This is gonna be screwing me up all video long. Double body there. I love those whip snipes, those lightning snipes. Oh! That gave me flashbacks to, um... What? What kind of crack shot was that? To, um, Supreme Demonstration, when Hyena turned around and then turned around again to come back and lightning snipe the atrocity. So yeah, um, beautiful angles. You have to match the energy of the song and um, Trukio's doing a really great job of that so far. Slower than I would have expected and... <laughs> Very nice. I'm not sure if this was in a 2v2 MLG or a 4v4. I don't have the context on these clips, but okay, launching again. I'm liking the stickies. It's not so many uh, multis as I had expected. I almost wish I had an angle of the strange bounce that that sticky took there. Wow. <laughs> is that for the game over? Very nice. Long range. Yeah, so this is slower paced in terms of um, average clip length and everything like that. Was that two stickies? I gotta stop talking and actually focus. Oh, wow. Another thing I really like is when, okay, I love that overhead angle, first of all. When a clip starts off and you think it's just a sticky launch, but then it actually turns out that the flashy first kill was just the first, and it turns into a multi, like a beat, like a lightning snipe triple like that. Love it. And the song is peaking, so... Whoa, a no-scope? That's nuts. Something that's good to do with any YouTube video at all is to subvert the viewer's expectations. So if they're expecting a nice BXZ, you can make a no-scope hit really hard there. Especially when the song built really high like that. What? Is that a ricochet? What happened? I gotta go back and watch that. Okay, part two, now this is Zen's editing. Looks like we're on, um, what was this Mac? He headlong, headlong. Okay, I missed the clip because I was too busy talking over out of my ass. <laughs> okay, amazing sound effect, again. Don't forget the sounds, and Halo has like the best sounds of any video game, so. Halo 2 especially, I would say. That, that door is iconic. Okay. Different soundtrack than I was expecting. 
I love that ghost angle. I love the wipe across in the middle third of the screen. Composition on that was really nice, how you had the ghost over on the left third, or it just looked really good. I'm trying to see... Oh, so I just noticed there at the bottom right you have the player names. I was wondering, where are the player names? Whose clips am I watching? That's very subtle. In fact, I've never quite seen something done like that where you try to match the UI in-game with your added text. And I noticed that even... You must have added the text there before doing the zooms because your zooms and stuff are keeping that text there, the true kill in bottom right, perfectly in scale. Damn, another no-scope. And those are so hard in Halo 2 without the magnetism. Not to mention the hit reg. What the heck? What? So fast. I wish I could see it better. But dude, I'm vibing right now to this amazing sound. Again, the sticky contact sound. The little... Whoop. That's what... That's... uh. That helps me comprehend when you're editing fast like this. This looks like free-for-all? Yeah. <laughs> that was a sick Jaro. Double shot on Truki, okay. Um, generally, I dislike when you have players in the montage actually getting clipped in clips from other players. I, I know it's not staged, and I know Halo 2 has a really tight-knit community, so for this case, I'm willing to excuse it. Another sick lockout Jaro. More stickies. Nice. Keeping it fresh. Not too many multis back to back to back. <laughs> Just showing off all the spawn sticks. How, mu how many more? On the dino. Bounce spawn stick. I like that. Is this the same clip? I'm not, sure. not even sure if there was a hidden cut there or if this is literally two of them back to back. Damn. And again, the sound effects are helping me. Wow. Okay, free for all snipes. Oh, you jumped off of the lift there. And that was the sixth shot while falling for the fourth kill, the overkill, or the kill-tacular. What? Okay, this is a glitch. I don't know how to do this, but you can pick up rockets by, or you can pick up any weapon with that. How'd you get rockets on MIDI? Kill that dino. Oh, I love BTB clips. I love, and I know that it's hard to get games and everything. That was an awesome launch. I didn't know you could do that with the Spectre like that. In fact, that might be the first use of a Spectre I've ever seen in a montage. How did that stick him? It, okay, so you're showing me. It fell off as he fell off, and I guess it stuck him while they were falling. Wow, love that angle with the rocket. And I guess we're back to Trukio editing now. Wow. Hustler getting domed there. You must have known he was dropping. That's a sick clip. Um, I love the circular pan around the ring on Sanct. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but again, the sticky sound just makes it all the more satisfying. What is this? 14? Oh, that was a timer. Game time. It did look good. I will say it's a little confusing. I'm wondering why did that timer come up if it doesn't mean anything. Another long range clip. Um, these are so creative that despite the repetitive maps, I mean, I'm hooked, I'm in. I will say also the soundtrack keeps changing. No rock so far, it seems like way more electronic and glitch type music. Back here on turf. This looks like a Hable clip. Okay, I know that wasn't an engine, so nice job compositing the footage into the Spartan's mask right there. Hardcore Team Slayer, so this must be a matchmaking clip. That's a pretty clean tack. Uh, again, I love where you peel the thirds apart. What kind of angle was that? It was like POV between the ghost cannons? I gotta watch that back. Incredibly creative angles. Not just the top downs, like on Warlord that I was talking about earlier, but... Stuff like that, where... Nice clip there. Where, um, wow, with the scoreboard. I think I've seen this Able clip before, actually. So that's, and a nice transition there with the Luma fade or or the inverted Luma fade. I don't know if that was blacks or whites fading there, but very nice. Is he gonna use the barrels? No way. What, <laughs> dude? That's insane. I didn't know you could do that. 
Oh, this is some... I don't know what's happening here. What was the point of the overcharge? I don't get it. Are you gonna catch your nade from the other side of the map? Oh my god, you're gonna bait the guy into running into it. Looks like we're on headlong now. Or this is foundation, not sure. I'm intrigued though, when I don't know the map, it's like it makes me want to keep watching. Yeah, we're on headlong after all. One flag, so this looks like a matchmaking clip. I'm loving the BTB, I know it's hard to get games and it's hard to clip in those games. Wow. I want to check out that song transition. It was incredibly clean. I want to know how you transition songs without a fade out like that. Um, great job using the gameplay. Nice quad shot there for the attack. <laughs> Some more barrel clips. Bro, you're launching it straight up on a guy falling. That's way more creative than just launching an arc like a stone thrown across the map on a spawner. I mean, spawn sticks are amazing. <laughs> awesome glow there. Falling off the map. Wow. Nice transition. Um... I don't know what else to say. Nice transition. You matched the composition of the rocks there. Somehow you faded the point of view clip. Wow, I, I love that angle of the teleporter. I've never seen one like that. I have seen angles like this. Okay, this looks like containment or a campaign angle or something. Um, that teleporter angle was amazing. This is also a great angle. I'm not even sure how you get outside the map to do these, but they look great. Um, a big complaint I have with a lot of Halo 2 montages is the colors are just kind of dark. And I don't think that lends itself very well to YouTube, that high contrast time. time. I don't even understand what's going on here. <laughs> I guess it was two made uh, trick plays. I love those lens flares in Halo 2. Back in the day, I used to just walk around on outskirts, look up at the sun and play with the lens flares. Um. Really nice changing up the, p the pace here. After that frenetic, like, drum and bass track, you go to this really slow-mo, lots of cines. You're telling the story with the, with the cinematics rather than the point-of-view clip. And it's great to vary the pace like that. What? Headset check? Wait. Oh, a message? I did not get the point of the turning up the volume like that. I didn't even see the guy when you bailed out of the Banshee and no scope the guy. I didn't even see the target. Nice quad shot there on uh, Milky for the kill frenzy. Spawn stick again. Grandpa Nelson. This looks like it's a PC. This is not MCC. I can tell by the text spacing top left on the medals. Here we go. Blackhawk uh, getting quad shotted. How do you even get up there? So it looks like there's some PC clips here, or... Yeah, there's some customized weapon position and some FOV. But for the most part, it looks to be default settings, default FOV, default weapon position. It can be hard to match up gameplay in a montage when you have different players recording with different settings. I know that from first hand. How big of a nade stack is this? Jesus. Wow. I love all the stickies. I will say this completely subverted my expectations. I expected a lot more, I guess, uh, matchmaking, just weapon juggling. Um, wow, that's the closer. Reunion 2. Yeah, this I enjoy the gameplay in this way more than I thought I was. I thought it would be too much of MIDI FFA and button combos, and those are very skillful, but just as a viewer, unless you're a Halo 2 freak, I don't think you really appreciate. I would say the edit in this did a great job of making it watchable and understandable to someone who's not a Halo 2 regular. I love this text, and yeah, after such a fast-paced final song, it's nice to have a slow moment like that. Gameplay by all of the above. Here we go, we get a, we get a outro clip. All right, moving on over to camp, whatever that is. <laughs> you stuck Draco? Is there something to that last clip? Somebody leave a comment. I need to know. Oh my god. Dude, that was one of the best Halo 2 montages ever. Maybe it was just I haven't seen one in a while. The cinematics, I know they weren't even recordable a couple years ago, but... I mean, a couple years ago, like eight years ago when I last played Halo 2. Halo 2 montaging has come so far. I loved 
the gameplay. I feel like there were so many clips that I was talking over and talking about the preceding clip, so I gotta watch I gotta watch this again, to be honest. This subverted my expectations. This is not what I expected. And, and that's a very good thing because I think you have to adapt and this felt fresh. This didn't feel like the same tired old Halo 2 montage that I've been watching for going on 20 years now. So um, great job to all involved. A couple of my favorite editors worked on this. Dude, I don't know how many angles there were in this, probably 100, maybe 150, a lot of really quick ones. I know it's hard to put in the effort like that when you're only going to take maybe half a second or less of the angle to put into the final product, but man, every bit of that effort paid off. There were some beautiful captures. I'm just going to overlay some of my favorites up on the screen, but there were some beautiful captures. I felt like it explained the gameplay pretty well. I was a little confused at some points, not sure if I was more of a Halo 2 head that would be alleviated, but man, this was awesome. I'm definitely going to be rewatching it. Um, great job to all involved, and um, I'll be reacting to some more montages soon. So thanks so much. Peace out. Okay, so I didn't even realize this when I recorded the reaction. I guess this is the winner of the 2023 Halo montage contest. Completely deserved. I didn't watch the other entries. If somebody wants to link some of those other ones down in the comments below, I'll react to some of those. Um, don't waste my time. Don't link some fucking subpar shit. I just want to see the top five videos. That's it. Amazing, amazing video. I, compl I Without even knowing anything about the contest, just coming in like speaking my mind like an idiot. I feel this is completely deserved. So amazing job. I don't know. I don't know how you're going to top this. There is no way to top this within the same style. You can always switch it up and try something different. Zents and Trukio, I really appreciate that you guys challenged your editing style and you went outside of your typical music choices and your typical style, because let's face it, the music you pick affects how you speed up and slow down the clips. It affects your syncing. It affects the angles you use. It affects the style and the vibe you try to create. There's so much creativity that goes into montaging that I don't think properly gets recognized. I recognize some really amazing, really creative stuff in this video, and especially knowing a lot of both of your back catalog. I would say Trukio, this is a little bit closer to what I've seen from you in the past, but for Zents, man, this, what a departure from your classic style and what an enjoyable video. So amazing job. I look forward to seeing more from you soon.